Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you confirm the prophetic word of it is well in my life, in all areas of my life, in all areas of our lives, beginning from this year 2023. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That leads me to sharing with us tonight on why we are fasting and praying. Why are we engaging in prayer and fasting exercise? We are praying, number three, to break off any yokes, any resistance of the devil against the growth of this church. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, every such elements shall be blinded, shall be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying that everything holding the men and women that God has assigned to be members of this church loses grip over their lives. Every yoke of the devil be broken over their lives. Just like Elimas was silenced and until he was silenced, the deputy did not receive the word of God and did not believe. So there are Elimases, children of the devil, enemy of all righteousness that we are going to pray against tonight. And as we pray tonight, God will bring people to Tola in their multitudes in the name of Jesus. So we are praying to break off the yokes of the devil against the growth and establishment of this church. And number four, we are praying to enforce the prophetic word of the Lord for us this year, 2023. God has spoken to us that this year it is well with us. We need to enforce that in the place of prayers. We need to enforce that by praying. We need to enforce that in strong prayers. And that's one of the things we are going to be doing tonight. You know, the Bible says, that a great and effectual door has been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. When the great and effectual doors has been opened, expect the devil to show up with many challenges. First Corinthians 16 verse 9, For a great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. Tonight we are going to pray, and as we pray, God will bring these two purposes for which we are praying tonight to pass in the name of Jesus. For those who missed yesterday's service, we talked about the number one and the number two reasons why we are fasting and praying in these three days. Today I just shared with you number three and number four. Again, just to recap, we are praying number three and fasting to break any yokes of the devil against the growth and establishment of this church. And I've told you that as you pray for that, your glory will rise. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19. And also, number four, we are praying for the enforcement of the prophetic word of the Lord in all areas of our life. This evening, let's go before the Lord and thank him first and foremost for yesterday and for today for giving us strength to wait upon him in prayer and fasting in studying his word shall we lift up our voice to heaven and appreciate the lord the bible says in psalm 100 verse 4 that we should come into his presence with thanksgiving and into his court with praise father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we thank you Thank you, O oh God, for the grace, the strength that you gave to us both yesterday and today to wait upon you, to fast, to pray, and to study your word. Father, to you alone be all the glory and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, tonight we have come to say thank you. 
Surely and truly you have done us well. We bless your holy name, Daddy. Take all the praise and glory. Libero da mosi karoshke tu labaro nande siala katanama. Father, we thank you. Lord, we exalt your name. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou glorified, O God. Be thou magnified, O God. Even for our gathering yesterday, as we gathered, your presence was available. You heard us and you answered us. Father, for this we say thank you. Glory be to your holy name. Because you will yet hear us again tonight. Thank you, most high God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now we are going to wage war against every animus. We are going to decree vengeance of the Lord upon them. We are going to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree vengeance upon every agent of the devil and every arrangement of hell against the growth and establishment of Tula. Psalm 94 verse 1, the Bible says, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show yourself. Tonight, just like Paul prayed against Elimas, let's lift up our voice to heaven and begin to decree the vengeance of God against every agent and arrangement of hell, against Tola, the house of light assembly. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, tonight we decree your judgment upon every agent and arrangement of hell against the house of light assembly. Lord, just like you blinded Elimas, let your vengeance be executed upon every agent of the devil and every arrangement of the devil, every plan, every agenda of hell against the growth and establishment of the house of light assembly in the name of jesus christ oh god to whom vengeance belongeth oh god to whom vengeance belongeth show yourself show forth yourself tonight as the mighty man of war Show forth yourself tonight as the God of vengeance. Is somebody praying unto God tonight? Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree your vengeance over every agent and arrangement of hell against the growth and establishment of Tola. Lift up your voice and pray to the Lord. All around the world, pray, 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 pray. La Romande Supalesh Kaneto Sikatea Nam Prokotano. Libaros kediaro taparo skiliaro shandaya. Makitano sandelua paruta leto sikata. Likaro nemon skinabarash. Rado sikatabala. Lord, you showed your vengeance against Herod. And the word of the Lord multiplied and increased. And the disciples were saved. You did that against Elimas. And the deputy believed. Lord, do it for the House of Light Assembly today. Let every elements, every agenda of hell, every agent of the devil against the growth and establishment of Tola be judged by your vengeance tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Laro saliba nos kepuria rane sikataro. Bredo sakradash kaleto silaba handelea. Thank you, precious Father, because you have heard us and answered us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's take the second prayer this evening from the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6 and verse 7. We are praying that the Lord will multiply the number of disciples in Tola this year in a way that is far beyond everyone's understanding. Act of the Apostles chapter 6 and verse 7. 
Glory to God. The Bible says, and the word of God increased. The word of God will increase at Tola. Fresh word. The word that will bring them, that will keep them, that will bless them, that will multiply them, will begin to reign at Tola from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Act of the Apostles. Let's go back to that scripture, chapter 6, verse 7. Acts chapter 6 and verse 7. The Bible says, And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. The number of disciples at all are will multiply greatly this year in the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, he says, And a great company of priests, of the priests, were obedient to the faith. God will through Stola save multiple souls, save multiple people, depopulate hell, and populate heaven in the name of Jesus. This year, in Jesus' name. Let's lift up our voice and take that prayer. Say, Father, let Tola experience supernatural church growth this year beyond all human understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we ask and pray that you will let Tola, the house of light assembly, experience supernatural church growth this year 2023 beyond all human understanding in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let the house of light assembly experience supernatural order of church growth this year 2023 beyond all human understanding Lord, we ask and pray that you will bring your sons and your daughters from afar from within, that your house may be filled. Lord, I pray that this church will grow supernaturally beyond all human understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Makosa prediano shkina tosila barodi. Let this church experience supernatural church growth beyond all human understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We are still praying tonight. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, Jesus himself said that he will build his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. We are going to enforce that scripture in prayers tonight as we pray against the gate of hell that may rise against this church and all our partners. We are going to command them to be brought down speedily in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. Let me read that verbatim. Jesus told Peter. He said, Thou, and Jesus answered and said, I say also unto thee, verse 18, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Let's lift up our voice tonight. Let's command every gate of hell risen up against Tola and all our partners to come down speedily, to crash instantly. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer screaming, just like the children of Israel screamed at the wall of Jericho and it came down flat. Pray this prayer screaming in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every gate of hell risen up against Tola, all our members and partners, to come down crashing now in the name of Jesus Christ. La koto si barono monsa katolia lo parone, brode koria pashte kitano, brode ala konsta barano ne sikataba. Let every gate of hell risen up against Tola. Come crashing down tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. 
every gate of hell that may have risen up against all our, against all our members, against all our partners, all around the world. Tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command them to come down crashing. Crash instantly. Crash now. Come down now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, honor your word concerning the House of Light Assembly. And let no gate of hell prevail against us. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every gate of hell risen up against every member and partner of Tola come crashing down now. I command you, gates of hell, crash in the name of Jesus. Crash in the name of Jesus. Crash in the name of Jesus. Fall down flat now in the name of Jesus. Apote netsu kaparole. Ekro de shataba. Mountains of problems. Crash in the name of Jesus. Mountains of failure. Crash in the name of Jesus. Mountains of difficulties. Crash in the name of Jesus. Mountains of sickness and disease. Crash in the name of Jesus. Mountains of poverty. Crash in the name of Jesus. Mountain of sin and iniquity. Crash in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Because you have heard and answered our prayers. To you alone be all the glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's take another prayer. We have two more. Before we take our 40 prophetic declarations for today. We're going to take some part of it. We took some yesterday. We'll take some today. Let's take the next prayer from the book of Psalm 23, verse 2, as well as Mark chapter 16, verse 20. We are praying that the Lord will send his word. You know, the word works. It is by the word of God that lives are changed and transformed. The Bible says, as we behold in the glass, we are changed from glory to glory, even by the Spirit of the Lord. We are going to be praying that the Lord will continue to send his word, his crowd gathering word, uh, that will nurture every member of Tola in the name of Jesus. Second Second Corinthians 3.18 But we all with open face beholding us in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord. And in Psalm 23 verse 2 it says He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Wherever the members are nurtured with the word of God they will stay there. Wherever they are nurtured with the word of God, wherever they are fed, the sheep will go to the green pastures where they will be fed. That is the interpretation of the prayers we're about to have to say now. In Mark verse chapter 6, verse 20, the Bible says they went everywhere preaching the word. God also walking with them, confirming the word with signs following. We're going to pray tonight that Father continue to nurture every member of this church with the word of life with signs and wonders following. Can we agree together in prayers tonight in the name of Jesus Christ that Father you will continue to nurture every member of Tola with your word accompanied with signs and wonders. Hey! Father, continue to nurture every member of Tola with your word. 
the word that will keep them here, the word that will establish them in you and in this church for life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I pray tonight. We pray together tonight that you will continue to nurture every member of Tola with your word of life, with your word of power, with your word of, of glory, with your word of hope, with your word of strength, with your word of wisdom, with your word of riches, with your word of blessings, with your word of honor, with your miracle working word, with your word of signs and wonders that will keep them in you for life and in this church for life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask tonight that you continue to nurture every member of Tola with your word the right word, the sent word, the word in season, accompanied with miracle signs and wonders. Likapala masutale ronoskania, lekro di sukra poti sutile konatonia, ekomarota glado sapraka tu salote ni akatana mande. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Because you have done it already. I can see the rain of your word falling in torrents. In every of our services, in every of our meetings, in every of our gatherings, even in our conversations. Complete with miracles, signs and wonders. Thank you, Father, for that. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Finally, I want you to pray for yourself that the Lord will confirm the prophetic word of all is well in your life and my life. In Isaiah 44 verse 26, the Bible says he's the one that confirmed the words of his servant and performs the counsel of his messenger. God has spoken through me that in this year 2023, it shall be well with you and your household. Therefore, we're going to enforce that very quickly in the place of prayer. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, confirm the prophetic word of all is well in all areas of my life, beginning from this year, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we lift up our voice to heaven and say that prayer in faith? Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you confirm the prophetic word of it is well in my life, in all areas of my life, in all areas of our lives, beginning from this year, 2023. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, confirm the prophetic word of it is well in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, confirm the prophetic word. You have said it and you will do it. You said, heaven and earth may pass away, but not one of your word will go without accomplishing the purpose for which it was sent. Lord, let this prophetic word of it is well answer in all the lives of every member of Tola and every partner of Tola around the world, beginning from this year, 2023, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it extend to, their marriage, to our marriages. Let it extend to our careers. Let it extend to our homes. Let it extend to our businesses. Let it extend to every area of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this. And blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate the Lord for hearing and answering our prayers. Lord, we give you praise and glory. Thank you for answering our prayers. Let's wave those hands to Jesus. Wave those hands to him and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayers. Blessed be the name of God. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers tonight. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to take our prophetic declarations for this service, God gave me 40 prophetic declarations that we're going to be declaring 
this year 2023 after this program we are going to publish it as we have done by the grace of god every year i want you to prophesy to your life to everything around you and so we're going to make those declarations we prophesied the first 13 yesterday today we're going to prophesy number 14 to number 26 that's another 13 prophetic words. So I'm going to put it on, your, on the scripture right now. And I'm going to say one, two, ready, go. And then you prophesy it over your life. Please make sure you are paying attention and you prophesy this over your life. All right. Father, once again, as we decree in your ears, after the order of Numbers 14, 28, do it for us, do it for our families, do it for our businesses and careers, do it for our spouses and children. Do it for our ministries. Do it for everything that concerns us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, I've prayed. Amen. All right, number 14. One, two, ready, go. In this year, 2023, I will reach my goals. Amen. Number 15. One, two, ready, go. In the name of Jesus Christ. My tomorrow will be all right in Jesus' name. Amen. Number 16. Get ready. Number 16. In the year 2023, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, is visiting my family, my career, my business, and this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number 17. One, two, ready, go. In this year, 2023, I have escaped from the cage of Satan and I cannot be captured anymore. In Jesus' name, amen. Number 18, number 18, are you ready? One, two, three, let's go. In this year, 2023, every storm in my life, my home, my health, my finances, as a terror, shall be stilled in Jesus' name. Shall be stilled in Jesus' name. Amen. Number 19. Number 19. One, two, ready, go. In this year, 2023, the earth shall help me in Jesus' name. Amen. Number 20. Number one, two, ready, go. All through this year, 2023, the Lord will be with me. Amen. Number 21. Number 21. Are you ready? One, two, ready, go. In this year, 2023, I will not open the door to the devil or cooperate with the devil through sin. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, number 22, we're almost there. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. In this year, 2023, everything the devil has stolen from me shall be restored. In Jesus' name, amen. Number 23, are you ready? One, two, three, go. In this year, 2023, I begin to withdraw the interest of my deposits with God. Woo! And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Number 24. One, two, ready, go. In this year, 2023, the Lord shall perfect that which concerns me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number 25. One, two, ready, go. Beginning from this year, 2023, there shall be no more limit to my promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Num finally, number 26 for today. One, two, ready, go. Because of me, everybody around me shall be saved and safe in this year. 2023, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Lift up those hands and appreciate the Lord again. Say thank you to Jesus 
Father, thank you, and blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As we close in this service tonight, let's give unto the Lord out of the abundance of what he has blessed us with. Let's give unto the Lord this evening. Let's give cheerfully. Let's give joyfully as the Lord has given us the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to... All right. Hallelujah. Let's do that again. I want to show you the ways to give. I want to show you the different ways to give as we give to the Lord tonight. Enjoy. All right. Let's do that. All right. Glory be to God. This is how we want to give to the Lord today. There are three different ways by which you can give. You can give through Zelle. You can give through PayPal. And you can give through Cash App. Let's do that very quickly with joy and excitement. God loves a cheerful giver and not a careful giver. The Bible encourages us to give cheerfully and not carefully. So do that with joy as we appreciate the Lord for his goodness of our lives. Let's do that very quickly. As we do so, we're going to be going with the word of the Lord for us today from the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 28. Luke chapter 10, verse 28. Oh, I prophesy for somebody under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ, the money you are expecting will come. The money you are expecting will come in the name of Jesus. It shall not delay in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. The Bible says, Give it and shall be given unto you. Full measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. Shall men give unto your bosom. Glory be to God. So please package that offering very quickly as we give to the Lord. If you have given to the Lord already, lift up your hands and appreciate the Lord for the grace and the privilege to give your offerings, everything you have brought to worship the Lord, everything you have brought to lay down on this altar. Appreciate him tonight. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the praise and glory for giving us the seed and for giving us the grace to lay it down in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to tie this seed to something. Ask the Lord for something personal. Ask the Lord for something special. Because you have given this seed tonight in the name of Jesus. Appreciate the Lord for hearing and answering your prayers. Blessed be his name. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. I prophesy the word of the Lord upon every one of us that is given tonight. Luke chapter 6, verse 38, the Bible says, Give and it shall be given to you. Full measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall men give to your bosom. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus that from today, People will begin to give you money.
people will begin to give you free money. I open the floodgate of grants to you. I open the floodgate, the floodgate of scholarships to you. I open the floodgate of bonuses to you. I command the doors of refunds in large quantities to be released upon you. I command people to begin to give money to you, donate free money to you from today in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Let's give Jesus all the praise and glory again tonight for the success of this second day of this prayer and fasting. Father, we thank you and we bless your name. You alone are worthy of our praise. Thank you for the grace to fast, the grace to study your word, and the grace to pray tonight. Thank you for the answers to our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Before we close tonight's service, I'd like to remind you that we shall not be meeting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Instead, we're going to meet at 2 a.m. Saturday morning. All right? 2 a.m. 2 a.m. in the morning. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that is, I think, 1 a.m. on the Central Time. So if you're living in Chicago, uh, Houston, Dallas, those Central Time is 1 o'clock in the morning for you. If you are here in uh, Ohio, New York, Florida, some part of Indiana, on the Eastern Standard Time Zone, it's going to be 2 a.m. in the morning. But you can break your fast, eat, pray, break your fast as normal during the day, and let's wake up in the middle of the night as we pray unto the Lord, and the Lord will surely answer us in Jesus' name. Also, on that Saturday, we're going to be meeting in the evening to pray for our city. In our Not In My City prayer rally, we have fasted and prayed. Let's go and invade the town for Jesus. So let's go ahead and do that on Saturday, and the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Uh, just as a reminder again, this week, our Bible reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 50, to Isaiah, chapter 56. Isaiah chapter 50 to Isaiah chapter 56. So please spend some time in studying God's word and it shall be well with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For the success of today's prayers, let's give the Lord a big hand. Let's wave unto the Lord and say thank you to Jesus. Father, we thank you because on the after the second day you will revive us and on the third day you will raise us up. Thank you for strength for tomorrow. Thank you for grace for tomorrow. To fast, to pray, to spend time in your word, even to wake up in the middle of the night and to pray. Father, we thank you. And blessed be your holy name. You are worthy of our praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's share the grace and fellowship with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore in Jesus' name. And surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Is it well with you and your family? Is it well with you and your church? Is it well with the church of God you attend? And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well. Thank you so much for joining us and praying with us tonight. And for those who are watching the broadcast at their own convenient time, thank you again for joining us to pray, to fast, and to believe God for miracles, a breakthrough in this ministry. And as God grants a breakthrough, 
God is going to grant you also supernatural breakthroughs in Jesus' mighty name. Don't forget, I'm your favorite pastor, Pastor D+. Plus, and I'm the lead pastor here at the House of Light Assembly saying this to you, that no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, God loves you. Jesus is Lord. And Jesus is coming back very soon. Be prepared. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Glory be to God. Give you what is worship as we believe God for every one of us to receive the blessings that belongs to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a great night. I will see you Saturday morning at 2 in the morning for the last prayer session of this fasting and prayer. Don't miss it. God bless you. In Jesus' name.